Welcome top news today. Barack Obama waves goodbye as former White House photographer Pete Souza takes photos at Buck Lodge Middle School in Adelphi, Maryland ships Emotiville Ajeti images since January. Former White House photographer Pete Souza has consistently posted beautifully captured pictures from Barack Obama's presidential tenure to Instagram, often as a subtle dig at current President Donald Trump, his policies and controversies. From the nearly 2 million photos taken during the Obama presidency, Suze's carefully chosen, politically relevant images meant to contrast the current and former administrations immediately became an Instagram sensation. After Trump triggered a massive backlash over his sexist comments about MSNBC host Mika Brzezinski, for example, Suze shared a photo of Obama meeting female staffers in the Oval Office including White House counsel Kathy Rimmler and communications director Jennifer Palmieri. Since Souza created the personal at Pete Souza account on the 21st of January a day after Trump's inauguration he has posted over 700 photos and garnered more than 1.7 million followers and counting. I think for the most part what I've tried to do with my current Instagram feed is display public domain photos and be somewhat subtle and respectful in the words that I write, Souza told National Public Radio in November. I think people can interpret them however they want to. When somebody first wrote a story about throwing shade I actually had to look that up because I really didn't know what it meant. I kind of laughed, I guess. Many dubbed him a professional shade thrower and one of the classiest ones yet for his timely and cleverly captioned photographs that visually showcased the stark difference between Trump and his predecessor. From President Trump's controversial travel ban and not a shoving incident to First Lady Melania Trump's apparent refusal to hold her husband's hand, Souza has not shied away or missed an opportunity to troll Trump through his popular Instagram account filled with stunning photographs. Beautiful. Just beautiful, one commenter wrote while another said how times have changed. Thank you for being there to document these occasions and showing the world the truth. Evidence is powerful, one person wrote. President Obama is a good man and was a good president. I hate how they're trying to tear him down. Bringing down someone else's hard work, good deeds and legacy is not the same as building your own. Here are some of Suze's best Trump burns on Instagram in 20171. Trump's controversial travel ban after President Trump signed the controversial executive order barring citizens from seven predominantly Muslim countries and refugees from entering the United States, Souza shared a photo of Obama smiling and speaking to a Muslim refugee girl at a Dignity for Children Foundation classroom in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. In 2015, he later shared a photo of Obama talking to Alex, the six-year-old boy whose touching letter about the bloodied Syrian boy who was pulled from a rebel in Aleppo made waves online.2. Trump's firing of FBI Director James Comey after news broke that Trump had fired James Comey, Sousa posted a photo of the FBI director sitting in the White House Oval Office with Obama. Obama's chief homeland security and counterterrorism advisor Lisa Monaco, former National Intelligence Director James Clapper and former White House Chief of Staff Dennis McDonough were also seen in the photograph. Every person in this photograph is a patriot, the caption reads.3. Trump's leaking of highly classified information to Russia after the Washington Post broke the news about Trump revealing highly classified information about Islamic State ISIS to Russian officials in May, Sousa posted a seemingly simple photo of a folder marked classified on Obama's desk. The caption read organized paperwork on the Resolute Desk, 2009.4. First Lady Melania Trump's refusal to hold the president's hand during Trump's inaugural trip as president to the Middle East with First Lady Melania Trump, a couple of viral video clips appeared to show her apparent reluctance to hold her husband's hand. Sousa responded with a photo of Barack and Michelle Obama holding hands while listening to a speech in Selma, Alabama.5. Trump's response to Tropical Storm Harvey victim safe to the deadly Tropical Storm Harvey plowed through and devastated Texas in August. Trump sparked fierce criticism for not meeting victims during the trip to the storm and state. What crow, what a turnout, Trump said, addressing a gathering of people hit by the storm outside a fire station. It's historic, it's epic, what happened? But you know what, it happened in Texas and Texas can handle anything. While many slammed the president over his lack of solace and empathy, Sousa pointedly posted a photo of Obama hugging a victim in New Jersey during his tour of areas hit by Hurricane Sandy in October 2012. As opposed to some of his earlier subtle and concise captions, Sousa didn't mince his words this time around. There are no Democrats or Republicans hurting in Houston, there are just Americans, he wrote. At a time like this, it shouldn't be about selling baseball hats or commenting on crowd size. It's about helping our fellow human beings. Pets too. This storm is catastrophic, not epic. 
Thousands of people are affected. Please consider donating to the many charities doing good work in Texas or other states to come. Point six. President Trump vs. Rocketman Kim Jong-un's tensions and rhetoric between the U.S. and North Korea continued to escalate in the wake of Pyongyang's adamant nuclear weapons development and intercontinental ballistic missile tests. Trump famously coined a new and controversial nickname for North Korean leader Kim Jong-un in September Rocketman. Pete Souza responded with a photo of Trump smiling and chatting with Sir Elton John, the singer of the 1970s hit Rocketman. There is only one rocket man, here meeting with President Obama in 2015, Sousa wrote. Point seven. Trump's hyper-political speech to the Boy Scouts in July, Trump's politically-themed speech at the annual Boy Scout Jamboree made headlines after he jabbed at his political opponents and his predecessor Obama, threatened to fire one of his cabinet members, and continuously talked about his election victory. Do we remember that date? Was that a beautiful date? What a date, he said referring to Election Day 2016. But do you remember that incredible night with the maps and the Republicans are red and the Democrats are blue, and that map was so red, it was unbelievable, and they didn't know what to say. And you know we have a tremendous disadvantage in the electoral college, he continued, popular vote is much easier. Sousa posted a photo of Barack Obama shaking hands with a Cub Scout at the White House along with the caption I can assure you, P.O.T.U.S. was not telling this Cub Scout and the Boy Scouts who followed about his electoral college victory. Point eight. Trump's embarrassing spat with Time magazine after Trump's kerfuffle with Time magazine last month, Sousa trolled the president by sharing a series of 15 Time magazine covers featuring the Obamas. Sousa posted the compilation of photos after Trump claimed he turned down the chance to be selected as Time's Person of the Year in 2017. Time magazine called to say that I was probably going to be named Man Person of the Year, like last year, but I would have to agree to an interview and a major photo shoot, Trump tweeted. I said probably is no good and took a pass. Thanks anyway time, however, quickly shot back saying the president is incorrect about how we choose person of the year. While social media users mercilessly mocked the president over the incident, one time executive slammed Trump's claim as total BS. Suze's caption reads someone has a lot of catching up to do. Point nine. Trump's awkward meeting with Pope Francis in May, an awkward photograph of President Trump and his family standing besides a less-than-thrilled Pope Francis at the Vatican became a viral meme that made waves online. Sousa, on the other hand, seized the opportunity to highlight Obama's relationship with the pontiff. Mutual admiration, 2016, the caption read for the photograph that shows Obama and Pope Francis with massive grins on their faces shaking hands with their heads slightly bowed. Point one zero. Trump's claim that his predecessors did not call the families of fallen soldiers in October, Trump was widely criticized after claiming his predecessors did not call or console the families of soldiers killed in action. Pete Souza swiftly posted a picture of then-President Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama consoling the parents of Army Sergeant First Class Jared C. Monty who was posthumously awarded the Medal of Honor the country's highest award for military valor. The President and First Lady Consul Paul and Janet, parents of Army Sergeant First Class Jared C. Monty, who had just been awarded posthumously with the Medal of Honor for his actions in Afghanistan, Sousa wrote. This was the first of 52 Medals of Honor, the nation's highest award for military valor, that President Obama bestowed during his two terms. I also photographed him meeting with hundreds of wounded soldiers and family members of those killed in action.